Trine series began in 2009 when we released the first Trine and uh, it's been quite a journey from the humble beginnings to Trine 4 and Frozen Byte now. We've had millions of players and to see them all loving the game so far is absolutely heartwarming. It's cool to see what new things our team has put together and how the game is progressing every day. We have, as a company, we have found that spark back. That, that the spark that powered the original Trine and Trine 2. Trine 4 is going to be bigger, better, more beautiful, the most complete Trine ever. It's got a mesmerizing soundtrack, beautiful backdrops, clever puzzle design, a revamped combat system, and all the things that make a Trine game really good and really stand out. And that's what we, we're putting the best elements of, of the Trine series together, and that's when we get Trine 4. Trine is, as a series is really well known for the fantastical fairy tale atmosphere. It's a really beautiful, breathtaking world filled with gorgeous environments, a fantasy world with a lot of color. The games is a mixture of action, puzzles and adventure. So you're kind of playing with three different heroes uh, as one. And the player is able to uh, switch between the characters at any point. And that is uh, actually really useful and even required in many of the puzzles and also in, in fighting the enemies. The Ultimate Collection is a collection of all the Trine games, including the Trine 4. And we're really excited about it because it gives new players the opportunity to experience the full game series in one package. And then returning fans the nostalgia of reliving all those moments they, they experienced before. It started out as kind of a side project of one of our programmers at Frozen Byte. We saw the potential in the project and we took it on as a, as a full-time project for the company. With Trine 1, it, it guaranteed that the company will survive to see another day, to see another game. For Trine 2, we were able to rewrite the engine entirely and that allowed us to get like online multiplayer for the game, which was pretty huge. With Trine 3, we maybe got a little bit ambitious and we went full, full, full 3D. We underestimated the challenge that that would bring. Yeah, we, we ended up in, in, in some difficulties, uh, both in the, in the game itself and also as a company with the financial situation. That was, uh, was, was, was a pretty hard, uh, hard toll on us. With Trine 3, we really let the players' expectations down, but this won't be the case with Trine 4. We are making the best and most complete Trine ever. Trine 4 returns to the side-scrolling platforming action that made the first two Trines so good. That's what the players wanted, that's what we wanted. When we decided to start making Trine 4, that was one of the, the first decisions we made, that we really want to go back to the roots, go back to the 2.5D side-scrolling style that really worked in the first games and build everything from that point onwards. We kind of rethought everything through from the ground up and basically just kept all the things that make a good Trine game and threw away the things that didn't work and that's, that's when we get Trine 4. I know that Trine 4 will be the best Trine game ever and I hope that the materials that we release up to the launch will convince you guys as well because we've, we've got a really wonderful new, new story. Every time I go to the art department, I see all the new stuff that they're working on and it looks absolutely amazing. And it's, it's so fantastic to see, see all these art concepts come to life. And then when it gets further into production, you, you see that there's voices added, animations, and everything just clicks into place. That is such an amazing thing to see that this vision that you've had for a game is actually coming to life right in front of your eyes. It's absolutely mesmerizing. For the players.